Today I want to review a sleeping bag that I've been using for many years, since 2017 actually. <laughs> it's my No Face Blue Kazoo and it's past time that I review it for you guys. Hi everyone, this is Andrea of Adventures and Dreams and I'm bringing you another gear review of my favorite pieces of gear. Um, the sleeping bag this time, like I said, it's the North Face Blue Kazoo and I'm using it mainly in spring through fall, but I have used it in the winter already uh, along with another layer for uh, extra insulation. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. I want to tell you a little bit about the features that it has. I want to show you how I get into it and how I close it, how I stuff it into its stuff sack that it comes with. And uh, just a couple of extra bits and pieces there for you. Keep in mind that the one that's on the store now, <coughs> the Blue Kazoo is a little bit different. The, I think the weight and the temperature rating is slightly different and mainly the color is also different. I'm actually liking my darker one more than what's currently available as of 2023. Uh, the newer version has kind of a white uh, bottom, which I think is a weird design because white gets sturdy really quick or a light gray. And this dark color doesn't have any problems with staining, so. But let's get into it. I'm gonna unpack it and show you everything about this bag. This sleeping bag comes with a mesh bag for storage and I use it all the time uh, to keep it safe in my closet. I am not quite sure if the new version also has a mesh bag. Uh, it doesn't say specifically on the website, but I assume it still does. It also has a couple of loops at the bottom of the bag to allow you to hang it in the closet if this is how you want to store it. The nylon that is being used on the inside of the bag is super soft and I really love this material. The insulated kinch collar keeps you nice and warm and it keeps cold air out on those cold spring or fall nights. It is very easy to tighten this collar even when you're inside the bag and also to loosen it back up when you need it. The zipper is very easy to grab and to hold and pull on and the Velcro tab keeps the zipper in place so it doesn't accidentally open at night. There's an insulated baffle all along the zipper to keep drafts out. My sleeping bag also came with a little pocket on the inside, but I never found any use for it and I think they went away with this design in the newer models. The zipper glows at night and actually works pretty well. There's also a zipper on the inside that you can use when you're inside the bag. There's a fabric on the sides of the zipper that prevent the material from catching when you close or open the bag. I open up the bottom like this when I need a little bit of ventilation and airflow in my bag when it's just a little bit too warm. You can attach some straps on these loops here and feed them under your mattress to keep your sleeping bag from turning at night. To get into my sleeping bag, I open it about halfway and then climb into it with my feet first, of course.
I make sure that my feet are all the way at the bottom of the bag to make it easier for my head to fit into the hood. Then I close my bag from the outside most of the way, slip my head into the hood, and then close the bag the rest of the way from the outside and at the very end from the inside of the bag. I close the Velcro tab to keep that zipper from falling into my face and then use the cord to tighten the collar around me. This sleeping bag has kept me warm in many cold nights, but when the temperature drops below freezing, it is a little bit too cold for me. I'm a very cold sleeper and I need just a little bit more insulation for those nights. I should also mention that I bought the version for women of the sleeping bag which is just a little bit wider around the hip area. I'm a side sleeper and this extra space is actually helping me quite a bit to be comfortable at night with my knees pulled up a little bit. To get out of the sleeping bag, you first loosen up the collar again, then you can easily undo the Velcro tab and then you can unzip the sleeping bag as far as you want. I just want to show you again how to air out your feet when you use the sleeping bag. It works really well and I use it all the time. On those warmer nights I use the sleeping bag more like a quilt or like a blanket. The outer shell repels water really well, which came in handy quite a few times already, especially when I camped without a rain fly and I had fog settling down on my tent and on the sleeping bag. I stayed warm even on the coldest and rainiest and foggiest camping trips so far and I really really loved the sleeping bag. I even used it when camping in the winter as the outer layer with a nylon sleeping bag as a second layer inside and it kept me super warm this way. Before storing my sleeping bag in the stuff sack, I always zip it up first to prevent damage from happening. I always begin at the bottom of the sleeping bag and start stuffing it into the compression sack, but it probably doesn't matter where you begin, on which end, as long as you do it carefully so the bag doesn't get damaged. Just try to push the sleeping bag into all of the corners evenly to make best use of the space. But honestly, they measured this compression bag really well and it has room to spare at the end. After you tighten this bag with the drawstring, you begin by fitting this little hood over the top of it and then you just tighten the straps up one at a time, little by little, until it's all the way compressed to the bottom. I just keep turning the bag in my hand and do one strap at a time to make sure everything is even at the end. The tabs on the buckle make it really easy to loosen it back up again you just lift it up and then you can loosen those straps. And then you can just remove the little hood and loosen the cord again. And then you can pull the sleeping bag out of the compression bag. When I go camping, this is the first thing I do when I arrive at my campsite. After setting up the tent, I take out my sleeping bag and just puff it up again to make sure it's nice and warm at night when I climb into it. Well my friends, this is the end of my review and I really hope you liked it. I have more coming for sure, my winter sleeping bag and also my mattress in the future. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button for my channel and I see you again soon.